Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie Koo, your interior design expert. And today we'll be breaking down lighting and how to choose the right light fixture for your space. This video comes highly requested by one of my best friends, Taylor. She actually just bought a brand new house in Newport Coast and has no idea where to begin with lighting. I mean, you've got bathrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, pendants, sconces, chandeliers. I mean, where do you even begin? In this video, I'll be breaking down the four key principles that you should look out for when deciding on the right light fixture for your space. We'll be talking about the size of the fixture and the location of the room, the scale of the fixture in proportion to the room, the ceiling heights and the shape of the room, and lastly, we'll be breaking down the styles and the functions per fixture. So let's get right into it. Typically, a living room is one of the largest common areas that you'll have in your space. I love to install a chandelier because a chandelier has arms to appropriately fill up the space. A dining room light fixture is usually situated right above the table. What you want to do is to specify a smaller chandelier or a pendant light so not only does it light up your tabletop, but it's a really beautiful focal point to kind of anchor the space. Kitchen islands are usually one of the trickier spaces to source a light fixture. First, you have to measure the size of your island and then you'll know what type of fixture looks best right underneath it. Bedrooms are the perfect space to install a really beautiful crystal chandelier. For bathrooms, I love to install a wall light or a vanity sconce. Even if you have general recess lighting, a wall sconce is the perfect place to show off a little bit more of your personality. For really narrow passageways like hallways or closets, I love to install flush mounts. This will allow you to walk right underneath it without impeding the walkway and it won't hit your head since nothing's dropping down. Have you ever walked into someone's house and all of a sudden they had a really huge living room and a tiny little fixture? That means the proportion of the fixture is totally off in relation to the size of the room. Interior designers know that scale of proportion is one of the most key ingredients when it comes to designing your space. The first thing you need to do is bust out those tape measures. You absolutely need to understand the size of your space and the ceiling height before you get to sourcing each individual light fixture for your space. Let me break down all these different ceiling heights for you, starting with something very typical, an eight foot ceiling. You wouldn't want like a chandelier dropping right on top of people's heads. So for an eight foot ceiling, a flush mount fixture would be best. I would probably store something between a 12 inch to an 18 inch diameter for a flush mount chandelier. Nine feet, you have a little bit more height from an eight foot. Just think that's 12 more inches. You can either install another flush mount or you can have another drop with a semi-flush mount. Typical sizes will probably vary between 18 inches in diameter. Depending on what the fixture looks like and how low it drops, I probably wouldn't exceed 22 inches. For 10 foot to 11 foot ceiling heights, you have a little bit more options. Depending on where the location is, if it's in a living room and you have a coffee table underneath, or if it's against the hallway and you're trying to light up a little seating area, definitely consider what's laying underneath it and you'll know how far you can drop that fixture down. So you can probably go about 22 inches or 26 inches would be the perfect size for a 10 to 11 foot ceiling. If you have a space with a 12 foot ceiling, 30 inches would probably be the minimum I would go. Not only would this allow you to fill up the space better, but the size of the light fixture would be a really beautiful contrast to the height of the ceiling. For double height ceilings, like 17 feet or even up to 20 feet, what you want to do is source the largest fixture that you can. Around 54 inches in diameter to 72 inches in diameter. I mean, I know that sounds really massive, but you're trying to fill up a really huge space and I am all about statement lighting. The bigger, the better. Remember that there are always exceptions to these general guidelines. Definitely understand where you're placing the light fixture and you'll know how large you can go in relation to the ceiling height. Next, we'll be breaking down the style of fixtures and the key characteristics so you know what to look for when designing your space. For instance, if your style is glam, you wanna look for statement lighting characterized by crystals, mercury glass, something really beautiful, reflective, and bold. 
Is your style a little bit more bohemian, a little bit more worldly? Do you love that jungalo look? If so, look for something with swags, chains, fringe. Even Cost Plus World Market has really great fixtures to suit that type of boho lifestyle. Or is your style more of like a modern farmhouse, which is almost kind of industrial, but is characterized by distressed wood, a little bit of metal, black mat, or a really cool brushed nickel. Farmhouse lighting is totally fixer upper, Joanna Gaines type of vibe. If your style is more modern, you absolutely want to look for a fixture that highlights a lot of glass and very clean, simple lines. If your style is more traditional, you want to look for a fixture with fabric shades or maybe even crystals. If your style is mid-century modern, it's a very 1950s look. It's characterized by bubble glass, bulbous glass, very simple shapes. If your style is a little bit more on the industrial side or you live in a loft, you love that type of metal and glass and wood. I love to source from Wayfair and Overstock because not only do they have a variety of items, they have it at very different price points. You really can find something for less than $500 to outfit your space. Here are my designer tips for lighting and choosing the right fixture for your space. Always place your lighting on dimmers. You want to be able to control how dim or bright the light emits so that you can control the vibe and the mood of the space. The only exception is probably the bathroom lighting where you want a controlled amount of light all the time. So if you have a wall sconce in the bathroom and separate recess LEDs, dimmers for the recess LEDs and a regular on and off switch for the wall sconce. Remember, these are not hard set rules. It's just a general guideline to help you take the guesswork out of choosing the right fixture for your space. I've designed so many different types of spaces. And now that I'm doing a lot more custom residential, this is what I know for sure. Choose what you love and it can translate into any style regardless of your accessories or your furnishings for the home. Look at a fixture and if it elicits a really positive reaction out of you or you just love to stare at it, that's the one. If you love it, you will always take it with you from space to space no matter how many times you move. Lighting is like a statement piece to start a conversation. I always tell my clients that lighting is like the finishing touch, the accessory for your room. Lighting can absolutely make or break a space. So my number one tip for you is to always splurge on lighting. Get the best you can afford or save up for that perfect piece that you've been eyeing for months. You will never ever regret spending more on lighting than you do on furniture. I know that this is a lot of information for you to digest and jot down, but don't worry, I have done all the work for you. All of this information, including shopping links for some of my favorite pieces that you see in this video will be available on my blog, okatorblog.com by the end of the week. In the next video, I'll be breaking down all of my favorite styles of chandeliers, sconces, pendant lights in all different price points, all under $500 to help you take the guesswork out of choosing the right fixture for your space. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and please let me know what types of videos you want to see in the future. I can also help you source lighting if you guys drop me a comment and let me know what room you're trying to look for a fixture for and what price point and budget you're in. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.